final one. It looks fantastic, hands down. So a couple <laughs> just notes before we dive right in. So we have, so this is our panel, Growing Your Skills and Empowering Others as a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. We have some amazing guests with us today. We have Sheriff Nasser, who's a gold Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. We've got Aditya Oberi, who's also a gold Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. We've got Rucha Yagnik, which is a, who is a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Woot woot. And then finally, we have Pablo <laughs> I'm probably butchering your last name. I apologize, Vera Mendy. And as yeah. of one final totally random, I guess I'm also going. I'm also a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. I have slipped in for this final one as well. So <laughs> welcome. I'm super excited to be here. I'm super excited to meet all of you. We are going to have a blast. One note to the audience: this panel might run a little long. So, but so just. Be aware of that, but there's going to be so much interesting content. You're not going to want to miss it. So yeah. let's dive right in. Yeah. Awesome. Hi, hi everybody. Excellent. I'm uh, the director of the Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador Program and thrilled to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Love seeing all of our ambassadors partake, participating in this amazing conference. Um, as you can see, they, you've probably seen sessions from them already. We'll see more. And it's just great to see how much they want to give back to their communities and participate and stuff like this. So I'm just gonna take five minutes and just give you some background on the program itself. So let me share my screen real quick. Uh, the, the Learn Student Ambassador Program is a program for, a global program for students uh, such as your more important than ever as classes, events, and even social activities are virtual. We wanna amplify your impact as a passionate student leader. We wanna to bring together like-minded peers to build these vibrant digital communities across the globe, learn new skills, and solve real world problems. Um, all of our ambassadors get to connect with other students uh, who share their passion in focused leagues. Uh, we wanna kickstart your career with trainings and certifications, support for your virtual events, and unique access to experts and mentors. And we want all of our ambassadors to host digital events, uh, offer that guidance, share their passion with other students and earn that recognition that'll separate them from the pack uh, with their resume. Our applications are open year round and we select students quarterly. We just uh, onboarded our, our newest cohort uh, this month and we'll be onboarding our next one in July. So if you're interested, please apply. You can go to studentambassadors.com and also you can follow our hashtag at MSFT, or hashtag MSFT Student Ambassadors on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, um, and see all the amazing things that our ambassadors do. The program has some amazing benefits. All of our ambassadors get Microsoft 365 with Office and Teams, as well as TechSmith, Snagit, and Camtasia. And then we have these milestones that we want our ambassadors to achieve as they kind of progress through the program. The first is the alpha milestone where they get access to $150 of Azure credits a month, Visual Student Enterprise, LinkedIn Learning, uh, MTC exam vouchers. So you can they can take exams for free and get that certification for their, uh, for their resume. And uh, we partner with name.com for their own domain name so they can build their portfolio online. Once they've hosted their first event, um, they uh, you, we send out swag kits to our ambassadors so they can better represent and show their uh, their kind of their passion for the program. We have event support, mentorship, access to our summits, and then for our gold ambassadors, some of which are on this call today, um, they are selected by our, the program team. They get access to special events and speaking engagements like Build or Ignite. Um, they get to be leaders in the program and in their communities and they get mentorship from our MVP or Most Valuable Professional Program, as well as the potential of being nominated for an MVP. In fact, we have, I, I see Dwuda on the call. He is a, was a gold ambassador and is now an MVP, um, and that's been part of his journey as a community leader. I mentioned our leagues. Um, again, that, those are the diverse communities on specific topics, both technical and social impact, where you can find uh, other people that are passionate about that same thing, share that passion, and deepen your skills and knowledge uh, as part of the community. So really great opportunities here. We have mentors, uh, Microsoft employees as mentors in each of these leagues um, that help give you advice and help you in your journey um, in skilling and learning. And in that, you, we want you to pursue, continue learning and the things that you're passionate about, utilize existing workshop content to share your passion with your communities, and you can collaborate on projects. Um, you can work on creating new content or even projects for our competition, the our global competition, the Imagine Cup. Of course, all this is online at studentambassadors.com. You can actually find ambassadors. So if you're curious and you wanna find out more, you can search for ambassadors both in your country, in your city, um, even in your university. 
You can find ambassadors that speak your language. You can search by language. You can see all the amazing things that our ambassadors are doing across the globe, get links to their social, and, and just find out more about uh, what they do. We also, our ambassadors post their events on, on the site too. So if you're interested, especially now that we're all virtual, uh, all these events are, are online. And so you can join any of these events if you wanna learn more uh, about specific technology topics. Really amazing way to kind of get some insight into the program as well. And of course, you can apply on the website um, and hear and, and find out more about the program. We'd really love to see if you have that passion, you wanna share it with the community, we'd love to bring you on board. Um, we have some uh, testimonials here, but I'm just going to get right to the panel. We have some amazing ambassadors with us today, so I will have them introduce themselves, and we'll start with the detail. Okay, thank you thank very you much. So, much. Um, so hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sharif Nasser. As, as they already said, I'm a gold member of the program of Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors. I'm really happy to be here, and I also have Aditya and Rucha joining this session to tell us a little bit about their own experience. You know, we already heard Pablo saying what are the benefits of the program, but those are not the only benefits of the program. There are a lot more that we have lived during our journey since we began as a student ambassador, as an alpha student ambassador, and now Aditya as a gold student ambassador, Rucha as a beta student ambassador right now. And I would really like you to hear these stories, I'm sure that you'll really enjoy enjoy this session today. So, Aritya, you're next. Thank you so much. Um, hey, everyone. I am Aditya Obrey. I'm currently a junior here in India, pursuing my computer science and engineering at Amity University, Noida. And I spend most of my time working, sharing about .NET and Azure as a Gold Microsoft Student Ambassador, as well as working with hackathon communities as a major league hacking coach. And uh, I was recently selected as the national winner in the education category at Microsoft Imagine Cup here in India as well. So I'm really excited to be here with all of you today. Thank you, Aditya. Rucha, you're next. Yeah, just confirming if I'm audible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Rucha Yagnik, and I am a computer science undergraduate student here in India. I am a beta Microsoft student ambassador. Uh, by passion, I am a web developer, and I like to add a little smart touch to my websites and application using AI technologies and computer vision. Uh, apart from my career goals, my community goals are to make uh, technology accessible to everyone by going through iterative process of giving and gaining knowledge. That is what I do in this program, empowering uh, community. Thank you, Rucha. Welcome to the session. Welcome, everyone, again. And uh, I must say that I'm really happy to have Pablo joining us today because he's our global program manager and he's actually uh, for us, he is the driver of the program. He is the one who is always inspiring us, motivating us to to be better student ambassadors, to grow our impact in in the world worldwide, and also he's always telling us to follow our own passion. Uh, I'd love to hear Pablo before talking about how he has have found his own passion and how the program has helped him just do the thing that he's passionate about. So I think that I'm going to start with you, Pablo, with one question that I that I always wanted to ask you, and is it is what do you love the most about being the global program manager of the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program as well as the Imagine Cup? Well, you say that I inspire you, but it's really you that inspire me. You know, it's 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 amazing. Every day I get to hear stories about students across the globe. We're in 102 countries. If you think about that, the, the reach of this program is just immense. And, you know, we're hearing stories every day about how students are enabling uh, their communities and their countries, and that inspires us to, to make this the best program I can be so that you can have an impact. Um, and for me, it's about that exponential impact. I kind of lived the values of Microsoft before I even joined Microsoft. I wanted to use technology to empower others. And obviously, once I came to Microsoft, that just kind of uh, brought me to where I am today. And, and I'm thrilled to be able to do that with students across the globe. You know, for me, it's, it's about giving students a platform, um, giving students that don't necessarily have access to this type of community or, or, or this, these type of services with you know, $150 of Azure credits a month, that's, you can do a lot with that. Um, and and seeing what they do with it, you know, it's it's it, what you the the people on this panel have already done with it, 
um, and what, uh, how they learn and how they want to share that passion and, and bring up others in their community and give them something to, uh, to want to learn and want to, to bring forward. And, and, and hopefully that translates into a career. Um, and it's just, again, every day I see, uh, whether it's in the Imagine Cup, the projects that the students are bringing, uh, really wanting to have an impact with technology and change, change literally change the world um, and give us a glimpse into the future. Um, and or, or with the ambassadors as well, when they when you as as I see them, you know, bringing up their lifting up their community by by showing them these technology skills that they may not have had access to before, um, it's just incredibly inspiring. And um, you know, it just makes me excited to uh, come to work every day and and do uh, sessions like this because there's nothing more than that I want to do than give uh, you know actually you're giving me the stage now, but to to know that um, you are all being given this opportunity. Um, and to do more and, and to see like, you know, just giving it, given a little bit of opportunity, what students are capable to achieve is just, is just incredible. Thank you, Paolo. That, that's all true. Uh, I really think that this is a program that is completely run by passion from our student ambassador, from my fellow student ambassadors. It is passion for technology. It's passion for learning. And it's also passion for our communities and teaching that, that those knowledge that we are acquiring to other people. And I would really like to know about uh, my my two friends here at ETN, which are how they have leveraged the benefits of the program to, as we name this session, to grow their own skills, but also to use those skills to create an impact in those communities. So I would really like to start with you, Aditya, if you uh, I would like you to tell us a little bit about what is your recent experience in the program and how you have leveraged its benefits. Definitely. So I, I remember that when I joined the program uh, about one and a half years back, at that point, in all honesty, I joined because I thought having a Microsoft program on my resume would look really nice. And that, that's honestly why I joined. But I remember that um, that was my joining the program here was my first exposure to what a community truly was supposed to be like. And I, I think that has been one of the biggest advantages that this program has provided me. And that is we have this amazing community of such wonderful folks from all across the world that we can interact with, that we can learn from, you know, who we can work with, who we can share with. And it, it, it's just amazing because I remember that the tech stack, the technologies, the domain that I'm working with, that is .NET and Azure, I would not have tried those out without, without having the program here with us. Um, the competitions I participate in today, the hackathons like the VS Code Hackathon or the Imagine Cup, I did not know that these existed until the program. And that is because we had fellow ambassadors working around these. They, they were sharing about these. And I, I think that's one of the biggest possible advantages that could, that I or anyone else can actually get from a program like this. It's, it's the, the amazing community. Thank you, Aritya. I actually feel a little, some related to, to your story about you, how you got into the program. Uh, when I, the way that I found out about the student in that, in that time about the student partners program uh, was because I saw a post on social media from one of the Microsoft recruiters and I, I said something just just like you. I just thought like, OK, let's see how what is this? Let's join. It's it's kind of what I like to do, just sharing information, doing workshops, doing events, things like that. So let's join. Let's let's see what is it about. And that was around uh, in, the, in the middle of of the 2019. And then I joined the program in September, just as you, Aditya, you've been in the program since September 2019. And since then, it actually became my hobby, but my favorite from from all of my hobbies, this is my favorite one. This is the the thing that I'm always thinking about. I always have the Teams conversation open in my computer, and I, I once I started in the program, I felt really ins inspired from what I was seeing that what all the other students ambassadors were doing around the globe, and that's what inspired me to also do more events, do more talks, more workshops, and that's what has also allowed me to to try new things as you as you did actually learn a lot of new Microsoft technologies, but also use those technologies to have an impact on even more people that I was having before. I can tell you that when I started my events were pretty much 20, 20 persons, 20 attendees, 25, 30, 
And now I've been able to organize events with more than 3,000 people around the globe. So that that's the kind of, of tools that you can get in this program to grow that impact that you that you're doing with with the people that you're in your community. And uh, now I would like to hear from you, Rucha, what has been your experience, how this program has let you grow your own skills and have an impact on others? Yeah, so uh, I completely agree with both of you about the journeys you have had in this program. Uh, my story of joining this program is a little bit different. Uh, I used to educate the students of my college even before I joined the program. And that is the main reason why I looked out for a platform where I can reach out to even more uh, students uh, because I do not want it uh, that I did not actually want that uh, I should restrict uh, my uh, you know knowledge to just students of my college and I wanted to be uh, beneficial to even a wider audience. So that's why uh, I can say this is the best platform I could have got uh, to uh, fulfill my uh, desire. And what I can say I've gained from this program is just uh, what I aimed for. I could reach to more number of students and share my knowledge with. More than that, I I have realized how much I've changed uh, from a person I was before uh, in jo uh, like before joining the program. I remember how reluctant I was in learning new things. And if you talk about me today, I am very confident in taking up any new things, any new challenges and initiatives to do everything for the community and help in every way. So the experience has been phenomenal. Yeah, that's amazing, actually. The program is has a lot of, of a growth mindset. We we as a student ambassadors are the students who personify this mission of Microsoft about empowering others, empowering people around the globe to do to achieve more. And uh, being in the program has allowed us to to be more involved with the Microsoft culture, with people like Pablo, like the all the cloud advocates, our program managers inside the program who are very supportive we're always being in communication with them we've seen what is the microsoft culture and that's actually going to be embedded in how we are as students and future professionals as well so that is one of the the amazing things that we gain in the program is just being a different the program has changed us all and as you said rucha it, it's changed you it's changed me myself as well and I would really like to know about how it has changed you, Aditya. How the program, what do you see the difference between the Aditya before being a student ambassador and now that you have more than one year in the program? You know, Rucha is a better student ambassador. She, she joined on August 2020. So she, she, she's been less than a year, but in that time, she's been able to do a lot of things. And I would really like to know what has allowed you to do the program in a little bit about more than a year that you've been in the primary. Definitely. So I think as far as my growth goes, apart from just my technical upskilling, the program has really allowed me to evolve as a person on large. Uh, because I remember the Aditya before the program was, of course, I mean, I, I was able to communicate with people, but I could not communicate with larger audiences. I had stage fright. I I wasn't comfortable always taking lead, always taking initiative. I liked to listen, I liked to work, but I think that started changing as I was exposed to the program. I think I started taking more of an initiative. I started pushing for my own perspectives, my own opinions, and I, I essentially grew my own voice. And along with that, I think I started recognizing a lot of the problems around me in my community that I probably wouldn't have in the past because for me personally, I, I have come from some sort of an, a privileged background, to be honest. I have had uh, a quality life so far. I'm, I'm privileged that way. And I think I started recognizing more of that and trying to work and trying to ensure that these, these um, privileges that I've had, I'm able to utilize them to actually benefit someone else to try and empower and uplift others and even if even if you know i even if i wasn't perfect at every point of time i tried to make sure that i was taking steps in the right direction and i don't think i would have done that without the program support 
without the community's support i i think that's the big that's some of the biggest changes that i've seen in myself as a person since i joined the program yeah that's right it, that's that's another important thing about this program is that there is this cultural way of thinking about how the program is is letting us climb mountains grow our skills uh, grow ourselves but as long as we are climbing the mountain, we are also lifting all that people that is, that is coming with us. We are using to grow ourselves, but also grow the people in our communities. And that's 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 the point of this program about being a force for good locally and also globally. And uh, just having all of these student ambassadors around the world doing all of these things, not only events, not only conferences, but there are a lot of ways about having impact with other people. And this being all, the, we are being allowed to do this just because of the tools that the program is giving us. And it's important to mention that the program has changed from what it's been uh, five years ago, or even from when I started, the program has changed a lot. And I think that that's been mostly after Pablo joined the program. You know, I joined the, I joined the program a little bit, a couple of months after Pablo joined as a global program manager. And since then, the program has changed, grow, has had a lot of innovation in the in the way it works. And uh, that's why I would really like to ask you, Pablo, right now, the program is amazing as it is as of now, but I would like to know what is your vision for the future of the program? What is what is what you want to accomplish in the future with the Student Ambassadors Program? It's it's been an amazing journey, and uh, I love hearing all these stories. Um, one thing I just do want to mention is that, you know, we people get out of the program what they put into it, right? And so we don't expect everybody who joins to talk to to create events for four thousand people or speak in front of m massive conferences. Um, you know, we're all here. We have a, we have there's a purpose that we all want to be on this planet, right? To, in this lifetime, we want we want to have this purpose. And what I like to think is that this program isn't the purpose. This program helps you find that purpose, right? Um, and especially because you already have that passion for tech, it helps you find that purpose. Like it helped Aditya, you know, see more around him and, and realize that there's more impact you can have. The same with Rucha and, and you as well, Sharif. And so for me, it's about, you know, there, there are amazing ambassadors in the program and, and you see a lot of them on social and all that. But for me, it's like, well, how can we get the rest of the program to 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 really find that passion and that purpose and and bring them forward and get them to take that next step? Um, because it's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, I, I there was a point in time where I didn't want to speak in front. I was I had stage fright and and you know and uh, imposter syndrome, right? That you know I'm like, why am I here? Why was I chosen to do this? Uh, and so for me, it's about it's about. Um, you know, making the program available to everybody, making it uh, more accessible, um, more relatable so that, you know, you don't, I think there's a sense that you have to be a, a coder to be in the program. Uh, and you don't. We have a, a, a woman that joined the program uh, that two years ago, she didn't know how to code. And now she's an intern at Microsoft, Hamantika. Uh, and it's amazing that that story, that journey, right? And so it's about how because there's a lot of uh, students in the program it's about how do we make sure that everybody finds their voice and everybody um uh you know finds that purpose and not not the program again is not the purpose it's it's what do they want to do what is their passion and and how can they use this program their their education uh their family their community to make that step forward make that launch into whatever that career is and be that future leader in, in, in their communities and beyond. Uh, I mean, what I always tell the ambassadors is like, look around, you, you're 102 countries represented, right? Um, make those connections because all these people are gonna do amazing things. Um, and it's really about uh, enabling them to do that and making it more accessible. Uh, you know, for me, it's really important to get more women, women into the program. Uh, we've been making great strides in that over the past couple of years, but um, you know, it's, it, it's hard when, when there's a sense that they don't belong, we want them to know that they belong. Everybody belongs, right? Um, and that's kind of what uh, what I want to get out of this community. And and now during the pandemic, you know, having empathy, right, and, and understanding that uh, you know people are experiencing different things across the globe, and and making sure that they they feel like they can be in this program, that they can apply to this program. Well. Thank you, Paulo. Uh, there's there something that you mentioned that, that I would really like to, to emphasize as well, which is the fact that 
that you don't need to be a coder to join this program. You don't need to be an expert in programming to join this program or an expert in technology. Actually, this program is meant to make you that expert, to help you become that expert that you want to be and to help you use that expertise to impact other people. So I have a lot of fellow student ambassadors who I communicate daily who come from different backgrounds, not from a CS degree, but also from an economic degree, finance degree, all of different kinds of careers that they are building themselves. And they have found this passion around technology. And after they joined the program there, they have found how to, uh, how to exploit technology to implement it in what they are already doing in their own career and just do something amazing with it. Just do something that can have an impact. Just do something that can be innovative, more can be modern and and build projects on their own. So another aspect about this program, something that I really, really love, as I told you, seeing what other student ambassadors were doing around the world inspire me. And it's because the, the amazing benefit of this program is the networking. That fact, the fact that you're connected to more than 4,000 people around the globe from, as I said, from different backgrounds, with different passions, with different way of thinking, different cultures, different religions. Everyone is unique. And uh, networking is part of what has allowed me to run my events, have a greater impact, because I noticed that when I started, as I told you, I was having little smaller events that I'm having right now. And that was because I used to organize those events by myself. But after I started joining other student ambassadors and creating these collaborations, that's when my, my impact started to grow, not only in Mexico, which is where I live right now, but also in a lot of countries from Latin America and outside of Latin America as well. So actually networking is an amazing benefit of this program. And I would like to hear about how Aritia and Rucha have, have seen this networking working, uh, working from them as well. So I would like to start with you, Rucha. How, how have you leveraged the networking or what impact has had the networking of this program? Sure. So the fact that we have so many ambassadors coming from all different backgrounds across the globe is the biggest thing uh, where we can all get benefit of uh, learning to network and connect with people who do not necessarily belong to the same background as you have been. There can be different technology trends from the area they belong. There can be different ways in which they get educated uh, in technologies, and it can be different for each and every person. As you just mentioned, everyone is unique in this program. What I have majorly learned in this program is that uh, if I if I talk about myself uh, before getting into this program, I used to hesitate in asking questions. I used to think that uh, if I asked something to someone, they would think that, oh, this girl does not even know this. And, you know, that would sometimes stop me that, oh, let me just uh, find it on my own. And sometimes that would burn me out. But what I've learned here is that everyone is so helpful and so outgoing that I can ask anything to anyone. and. I can really expect to get helped very, very soon within no time. And no one ever is, uh, you know, really judgmental on what you ask. So that has been a very big point of change in me as a person that I've learned to ask questions. Apart from that, I've also learned to help other students with their questions. I've been more empathetic towards, uh, you know, people who come, uh, come out and reach to me uh, with their doubts. Earlier, uh, what was the thing with me is that uh, when some junior students uh, of my college used to come and uh, ask me or send me a text that, oh, can you please explain this? I'm stuck here. I would I would not know everything. I mean, it's impossible to know each and everything, right? But I would just, you know, send them a link that, oh, why don't you go and try this? But what now I do is that I try to look into their problem. I do my research on my own and I try to learn some things so that I can explain it to them. I can surely navigate to uh, them to the links and share them as it is. But what I've understood being in this program is that when someone comes to you, uh, they look out for help that you can explain some things to them. And it's so much easier and so much better when you uh, can get an explanation from a person and not just 
you know screen because you can you know that you can ask questions and you can get more advice and more tips around whatever your doubt is so that has helped me grow a lot and become more empathetic towards others uh, uh, you know doubts and blockers also i've learned to connect with people who are um, learning different things and if i want to collaborate with someone for some events and i would i would know that i can ask Uh, this person about this and in in a particular manner you know we have to be mindful of their interests and their strategies to uh, organize the events and that all works uh, collaboratively and it all gives as a beautiful result when we actually host our events so that is the thing networking has helped me in this program yeah it's actually amazing how how the program has allowed us to connect with people from different countries and all in this is all thanks to the fact that we are all connected through Microsoft Teams and then we can collaborate with people from all over the globe and create more events create more solutions create more projects so talking about projects uh, you said Aditya that you were uh, in the Imagine Cup that you also created a project on this social idea impact hack and I would like to hear about how networking has allowed you to 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 create this project with other people and what has been your achievements on this. Absolutely. I I think um, one of the most amazing aspects of this program is how it lets us work together, collaborate with each other without actually being next to each other. And I I think it's really amazing how we've been doing that because I look at my Imagine Cup team and I have to name these two people, Simran Makhija and Ekanj Gupta. They're both fellow gold student ambassadors. We all joined the program together. Ekanj was and I were all we all the three of us were from different cities here in India. Ekanj and I were nearby although when we were studying because my college is near to where he lives. But Simran, I've honestly met only once in my life in person, and that was back at the summit we had in India last year. And in this entire remote work situation, we worked together. We used Teams, and I mean, to the extent that we were on calls every single day at a point, we continued working together and just discussing and arguing <laughs> and working and building together. And our journey together, we started building at the VS Code Hackathon. we continued through we developed our idea further because we we received some amazing mentorship when we won the vs code hackathon we got we got an opportunity to interact with amanda silver a cvp here at microsoft and um, she was an amazing mentor because she pushed us to develop our idea further which we then um ideated on discussed and took it to the social idea impact hack as you mentioned which was an idea thon we had for all student ambassadors we further developed and and we built a prototype so the vs code extension we had turned into a web app and we had at the same time we had a xamarin app as well because we were experimenting so much together that you know we we tried not to limit ourselves to just one little thing and the funny thing was that both of them ended up on their own achievements the xamarin app was actually featured in the student showcase at dotnet conf 2020 and our web app got selected and featured as an activity in the r of code 2020 initiative by code.org so it it was amazing how all of that journey i mean that whole thing started in this remote scenario and we we actually further worked on the web app and we took it to imagine cup and we ended up getting selected as the national winners in the education category all without being next to each other in this in this 8 month journey about 8 months yeah. <laughs> so it's absolutely amazing how this program enabled all of us to do that and the, the best part is that it's not just us i think on a daily basis i see folks in the program interacting with each other, with each other without having ever met each other in person or being near each other it's 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 happening so often it's it's really a marvel to be honest Yeah, that's right. And also, the the just to to start talking about now another another benefit of the program is is you talked about creating this project, and I'm sure that you that you've been receiving mentoring from cloud advocates, and you've been able to network with other cloud advocates. So this this take us to another benefit of the program, which is having kind of this insider view of Microsoft, of having access to Microsoft employees. to listen into their experiences and their stories as well which are 
very, very, very inspiring to see how they all come from different backgrounds as well. And uh, I would like to know about what has been your experiences on this insider access to Microsoft. For example, uh, I've been able to join inside calls of Microsoft, inside events to talk, be a speaker as I am being right now for insider calls of Microsoft. Right now, I'm also giving feedback on Microsoft Learn Learning Path. Um, in a few weeks back, I had a, direct, a director coming to my house and filming my life for two days to create this Azure docu-series and a lot of benefits. You know, also having connection with the Cloud Advocates here in Latin America who has been very, very supportive and I think that I will not have come this long without them. And I would really like to know what has been your experience around that, Aditya, because uh, a few weeks back I just saw you in Channel 9 as well. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, just, just I, I think it's one of the most amazing. As, sorry? Yeah, just before you go ahead. So we have like two minutes uh, more okay. to the sessions. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think, well, to to make it very quick, I think you can mention them just as bullet points. So that will be good. Definitely. So I remember that I'd been working with Chloe Condon here in the Education League being a, since I'm the gold ambassador, we're all a part of the league leadership as well. And she'd been seeing some of our journey with my Imagine Cup project because she actually mentored us in the social idea impact hack as well. So because she'd seen that journey and she'd seen my interaction, she actually invited me as the first student in the segment and the episode in the show on channel nine called Hello World, which is a daily series. So I I, I think, you know, these are opportunities that um, we couldn't even dream of at one point. It, and it brings so much exposure. It's it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm yeah. go well, I am so sorry. I have to pause you right here. Okay. We're at the very end of our time. But the good thing is you guys are going to be going into the AI cafe the global AI cafe so if anyone has any more questions feel free to continue this conversation there but thank you so much for coming I mean I learned so much from this conversation so thank you so much this was extremely valuable and so now we're going to go into our wrapping up phase so one other big message is we have our cloud skills challenge if what you learned during this conference was super interesting or inspiring to you you could learn more about AI by going through the cloud skills challenge path and then a couple people are going to get vouchers so they can take a certification exam to become certified in a Azure or AI field from Microsoft. And so and then the final thing we wanted to do is have a huge thank you to everyone who was involved throughout this entire conference. All of our speakers, all of the co-hosts, shout out to Dawood. Everyone did a fantastic job. And then a couple of the people behind the scenes. So we have this event would not be possible without Dmitry Shoshnikov and Hank Bowman. They are doing everything behind the scenes. We look good on stage because of what they're yeah. doing right now in a team's call. Absolutely. So <laughs> thank you so much to all of you. Like, yeah, just absolutely like, I mean, yeah, they're just doing a fantastic job. Thank you so much. And so the next people that we want to thank are our fantastic sign language interpreters. I feel like this is one of the only conferences I have ever had the privilege to speak at, watch, and now co-host that has been made accessible to more people. So just it's so inspiring what you're doing. You're doing it and they've been doing this for like eight hours straight. So just a virtual round of applause to them because this is just such a fantastic experience that the Global AI Student Conference is able to bring. And I think that is all for announcements. I think we've come to the very end of our time. If you want to continue these conversations, definitely join the Global AI Cafe. There's going to be tons of fun stuff talking about in there. Yeah. It's been wonderful. Yes, I would say a final thank you to Microsoft. Woo! Okay, we good.